Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments. We're here today with something we're thinking about doing. We want to get a little input from you and see what you think about it. A lot of people, we sell a lot of post hole diggers around here and a lot of boom poles. Boom poles haven't changed in the last 50 years. They just are what they are. They're cheap. That most are rated for 1,500 pounds, which is adequate in most cases. I'm not really sure if they'll pick it up in some cases without bending. Um, so this is actually our post hole digger assembly, and the best thing about this is if you if you look at a um, a standard boom pole where the pins that go in your three-point hitch, all that is permanently welded and the end of the boom has the socket in this and all of this is solid. So when it lifts, it lifts more like a box blade. It does lift with some angle, but it doesn't lift with near the angle with the pivot on it that like a post hole digger boom does. So you just don't get the height. This, this will actually go higher on the size of tractor it was meant for. We just took this off of our 60 horsepower Kubota. It'll lift higher on it. Uh, this tractor's like, it would need a really big boom pole to satisfy the full lifting capacity of this. And we're gonna try a couple of different blocks we've already weighed. One weighs 1,600 pounds, one weighs a little over 1,900 pounds. And so if you were to buy this as a post hole digger or as a boom pole, it's as simple as removing this pin right here and replacing this hook and hooking your drive shaft up. So a combination would, would probably be the best deal of all. Uh, we've added this strap on here. So if you want your post hole digger, if you want it to be a boom pole now, but want to add a post hole digger, then we're gonna, we're gonna offer it that way where it will come with the larger three inch diameter pipe instead of the two and a half. And it will also have this strap above it. And this is the first, we have, this is untested. We're gonna test this one out with the three inch pipe, see how everything does. But if you can, if you, you know, within one shipment, you'll be able to get two attachments. You'll be able to save a few hundred dollars. And actually, I think this is a much more updated, better usable boom pole is what I'm really hoping for. So Nate and I are gonna go down here with Kevin, lift a few things. We're gonna set them on the scales and see how it does. Okay, so what we're getting ready to pick up, we've already weighed it. It weighs about 1,620 pounds, I think. We're gonna carry it up here to the scales to see how this does. Well, we were. Alright, so we got this. We'll see. I, this is plenty of tractor to more than overload this boom pole. So we tried this before without uh, putting the extra brace on there and it didn't like it. It bent just a little bit past the ridge on the top. That's why we added the top brace just like a boom pole would normally have. Oh, this one's 1950. 
Okay. Well, it felt heavy. Let's go get the heavier one. Alright, so I don't know what the other one weighs. We're getting ready to find out. Because obviously I didn't know what this one weighs. The reason we're not using our L6060 for this is simply it won't pick this much up. I have no idea what this weighs and it may just bend the wheels out of this. How this tractor's not gonna pick it up. Okay, so I'm not sure what the lift capacity is on this tractor that far out, but it won't pick it up, so I don't know what it weighs. It weighs a lot. My guess is from the height of that to the height of that, if that was 1900, this is a full block. Uh, probably 330, could be up to 3,500 pounds. Uh, boom straight as can be. Don't see any problems there, other than the fact that my big old tractor won't pick it up. Uh, I'm really surprised. Uh, looks like it does pretty good. Uh, I'd kind of like to have the dual function. You know, I'm not a huge believer in uh, like the Swiss Army knife of attachments, but if you're going to have a post hole digger and you want a boom pole, since they're so much alike and you can have a better boom pole because it, acts, it has an axis in it, which allows it to um, work more like a crane uh, and go higher on a small tractor than it will a big one, especially one that won't pick it up. Uh, so we'll probably put this on the website and uh, enlist it a couple of different ways. Whether you want just the boom pole, you want the boom pole and all the auger system, uh, we'll list it a couple different ways. We may even make one that's just a little bit longer as we go for the Category 2 for the bigger tractors like this. Uh, we have a Category 2 boom now. It's the 7500. So all we have to do is make a few little modifications, and we've got everything you need. At Everything Attachments, we always want to be the leader, try something different, come up with something better. Um, Stay with us and uh, we'll keep everything in America and keep these attachments great. So there were a couple of things I wasn't even thinking about when I was looking at this. And one of these is the adjustability of this hoop on here. This has got a lot of holes here and those holes are designed for, if you've got a smaller tractor, you may need to lift it higher. Or if you've got a smaller tractor, you may need more lift force. So, and Kevin's gone to get the wrenches. We're gonna move this bolt back to the end hole and see if it'll lift this. And then we're gonna move it in the front hole just to show you how much difference it makes on the lift height. So we'll be right back with you. Okay, so what we did was, Kevin went and got some wrenches. We moved this one bolt. We moved it, well, we're in the second notch up, so we moved it two notches back. That should give us a little more leverage. We were just barely 
kind of getting it off the ground. Let's see what two notches do on giving us some more lifting capacity. Then we'll pull it up out of here and we'll show you how much difference it makes in the angle to what bolt hole you use. All right, so we're going to try to lift this um, in the different notch. Uh, hold on. So that's the difference between being able to lift it and not. That's for sure. Let's go see what it weighs. What do you think? Let's go see what it weighs. Oh yeah, more weight. That's just what we need. This thing is heavy. We're going to see what it weighs. is not happy it would come up higher but it's it's mad it's it's all the capacity it can stand Let's see what this bad boy weighs. I wasn't too far off. 2,846 pounds. Alright, we're going to put this back and then we're going to try the adjusting holes and show you how much more it'll raise in the other holes. This is in the max lifting capacity hole. This one's already sold to a customer that's picking it up here. So we thought we'd give it a good try. Along with our new color, we think black is looks good with everything. We'll see what happens in the future, but black will definitely speed up our production. And uh, especially when we have bad weather and we're having to pile things and wait to get to different colors that are already built and not let them rust.
All right, so let's unhook it. All right, so on this tractor, this is as high as it'll go in its max lifting capacity. On a smaller tractor, it actually would go just a little bit higher just because of the geometry of the tractor. If this were a 7500 model meant for this tractor, this hoop would be considerably longer. I think it's going to be the second hole from the back. Alright, so that's second hole from the back. Probably will lift about 30-40% less than it would with it all the way in the back. But it'll get you up higher. And if you were on the, if this were the right size boom pole for this tractor, or you had a smaller tractor, everything would just get better. So let us know what you think of this option. If it's something you want, we'll put it together for you and get it on our website. Thank you to Everything Attachments. Hope you have a great 2023.